everybody welcome back to the journey of my youtube channel after kind of a break from this journey i took an official break for a little while so that i could work on some secret project work that i needed to do and i even made a quick short about signing a contract for a fiction piece that I had written. So that was really exciting. Hopefully you got to see that. Um, I'll give you a card for it in case you haven't seen it because it's of course so, so exciting and fun to sign a contract for something that I've written. And now I am finally back to actually tell you about this project, spilling all the beans, giving you all the details. Well, probably not all the details in this one video, but I'll give you all the you need to know to understand the basic idea and if you have more questions please ask in the comments i would love to talk to you more about what is going on with this thing that i have written so let's start with the title of the book that my short story is in more more on that in a minute but the title of this project overall that i have been working on and that i have been a part of is voices of the future Volume 1, Stories of Family and Fearlessness, an Author Conservatory Student Showcase Anthology. If that's not enough title for you, I don't know what it is. It is so much title. Uh, you can just call it Voices of the Future if you want to. You can call it Stories of Family and Fearlessness. You can just call it the Author Conservatory Anthology right now if you want to because it's the only one. It's Volume 1. There's nothing else to confuse it with right now. Except, I guess, Writers of the Future. You could confuse it with that, but it's it's Voices of the Future, and it's, it's different from Writers of the Future, but it's, it's also kind of similar. So before I confuse you anymore, here's what's going on. It is an anthology, so it's a collection of short stories. It's nine short stories, and each one of these short stories is written by a different student in the Author Conservatory, which is an online writing college alternative Course. And the students who have contributed to this anthology are students who are in our final year. So we're going to be graduating in 2024. And this is one of our capstone projects. This is kind of pulling together all that we've been learning about writing and about marketing and the publishing process, and just all of the different things that we've been practicing for the last three plus years, we're now applying in the real world in real time in this anthology. So that is why it's called a student showcase anthology because it is highlighting and showcasing all of our achievements in the program so far, including these short stories we have written that are some of the strongest pieces of writing that any of us have ever produced. And the reason that it's volume one is that, of course, as more students get to this point in the program, when they're getting close to being ready to graduate, when they're in their last year, there will be more Voices of the Future anthologies with different themes, with different subtitles, with equally long titles, but with different subtitles. So that is the volume one bit. And as you might have noticed, the theme of this anthology is family and fearlessness. Each one of the stories has a strong theme of family in some way. Most of the characters of these short stories are very motivated by their families in some way. So it's very interesting to see how the nine different stories in this anthology work on that theme in different ways. But what's extra cool about this anthology is that it's not just a book. 100% of the proceeds of this book are actually going to go toward conference funds for me and my classmates to go to writers conferences. So each one of us authors in the anthology will be putting our personal profits toward our conference funds and we're also going to be contributing to a general conference fund that the author conservatory will take care of and then students who have more financial needs students who wouldn't be able to go to writers conferences without that help will be able to take advantage of that conference fund and if you are very familiar with the writing world you know what a big deal writers conferences are. This is usually how writers start meeting agents and editors and publishers and other authors that they can partner with. It can make such a massive difference in a writer's life to get to go to a conference. I just went to one this last summer. Some of you guys probably remember hearing my updates about that. And I had incredible opportunities to meet people and interact with people and share my writing with people that I never would have been able to otherwise. It was, it was life changing. It was, one of the best things that's ever happened to me. It was amazing. And this is something that we as a conservatory and we as people 
who are supporting the anthology are going to be able to give to more writers, including writers who would just not have been able to have this experience and this opportunity otherwise. So we're, we're getting to the really fun part with the cover reveal, but before we get to the cover reveal, I want to share with you just a little bit about my particular story. You're probably curious about what in the world I actually wrote. I still haven't told you about the actual thing that I've been writing for this anthology. So my story is called People of the Rain, and I will read you the blurb. Moria's village is suffering from a drought, and if rain doesn't fall on them soon, they'll have to leave the village of their ancestors. Many community members, including Moria's grandfather, wouldn't survive the journey, and many of their cultural treasures would be lost. That's more than Moria is willing to lose. So, she chases down a rain shower and meets a man of the rain, riding on a black rain horse. When she explains her people's plight, the man takes her up to the sky halls, where she appeals to the people of the rain to send a storm to her village. But what she doesn't know is that changing the path of the clouds would destroy this sky hall forever. Saving her own civilization would mean destroying another. So that's my story. I worked super hard on it. It was one of the most difficult things that I've ever written, even though it's a short story. But it is also, of all the things that I've written so far, it's the thing that I'm most satisfied with and most confident about. So I'm really, really excited to be sharing this with everybody. I think you all are going to really enjoy reading it and I think you're going to really enjoy all the other stories too. I have read all of the other authors stories and there's just a very high quality level of writing um, among the authors in this anthology. So I'm really excited for you to get to experience that. Okay, are you guys ready to see the cover of this thing? Because I'm ready to finally show you the cover of this thing. It's a pretty great cover and I, I'm i going to put up a picture of it in the video but it's, it's more fun to have physical things to show you so I printed out a picture of the cover on this paper so that I could do a physical cover reveal for you. Um, so I will also be putting up an image in the video so that you can see the colors and the details a little bit better but physical stuff is more fun. Can you see anything through the paper? Probably not but maybe you could get a little bit of a sneak peek through the paper. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. Today is cover reveal day, so you may kind of see the cover all over the place today. I really hope you do, um, and you're, you're about to see it here. So here we go. There it is, and you can, you can see the long title on there. I think it's really cool how the title works on the cover um, without feeling like it's, it's super long, and there are so many details here. Like I don't know how much you'll be able to pick up, but there are little details worked in from all the different stories in the anthology. There's some really fun stuff like down here in the circles on the edges. I thought that there was just kind of general decoration, but if you look closely, if that'll focus, you can see there's seeds planted in the soil and growing, and that's an image that is in my story is seeds being planted in the soil and growing. Um, and that's like, there's like a little dragon in there. It took me such a long time to catch that that's like a little dragon in and all these corner decorations and then the the wings there are quite a few different winged creatures in this anthology that i think you will enjoy reading about um and all of the all the growth all of the the flowers and the leaves it's really cool it actually turns out that every story in the anthology ends with some kind of image of growth of plant life of flourishing green things and we didn't do that on purpose um, we didn't orchestrate that or coordinate that um, i think we were just all kind of on the same brainwave from being in the same conservatory and we talked to each other a lot so um so that's really cool that just accidentally that turned out to be a, another theme of the anthology and then the fact that that's reflected in the cover having so much plant life on it um is super cool and i love the colors and um, yeah, I'll leave some space for me to, to put up a picture in the video so that you can see it a little bit more precisely. So what can you do to get your hands on this anthology and finally read what I've been working hard on, what my classmates have been working hard on, and just be a part of this whole anthology adventure? Um, what you can do is click the links that I will put down in the description. Um, I have a snazzy link where you can pre-order physical books directly from me. That's the best way to get your paperback copy of the anthology. And if you prefer ebook, then you can get that from Amazon. And I will also have an Amazon link to the ebook if you would rather go that route. But if you order a physical book, if you do a physical pre-order, then there will be some really fun physical pre-order goodies arriving with that book in the mail when you get it. So I would definitely recommend using that paperback pre-order link so that you can get the special, cool, fun, additional stuff along with it. 
And if you're not ready to pre-order the book right now, or if you are ready to pre-order the book right now, and if you want more updates about the anthology, about my writing, about what is going on with this whole project and this whole crazy adventure that we're doing together, then you can sign up for my email updates and I will also put a link to that in the description. So there are just going to be a lot of links in this description, which is great because I really enjoy links. If you're on my email list already, you know how much I enjoy links. I use a lot of them because I think they're fun. So those are the three links that are going to be in the description of this video. There's going to be the paperback pre-order link that is recommended because you get fun, cool pre-order goodies with it. There's going to be the ebook pre-order link which I mean, there's no reason why you can't get the paperback and the ebook and then you just have the full package. So that would be great too. And then the third link is going to be to join my email list so that you can keep hearing updates about this project and about my writing and about what is going on with this, with this really unique book. Um, this has never exactly been done before with a group of students who are publishing this for experience, but also to just legitimately get our stories out into the world, but also as a fundraiser for our class to go to writers conferences. It's just a very unique thing. So if you would like to stay up to date on what's going on with that and my other writing, then um, please join my email list. I would love to have you join that adventure with me and be one of my fellow travelers. And as I said, these are pre-orders right now. The anthology does not officially launch until December 5th, but that is actually coming up really soon. It is going to be here before we know it. So get excited for December 5th. That's going to be launch day. I will let you know as we're getting close. I'll keep you updated about that, especially if you join my email list. But basically for now, just enjoy the cover and pre-order if you want to do that and get excited for December 5th because it's coming and it's going to be a very, very fun launch day, I think, with all nine of us working together to celebrate that. Okay, here's that printed out picture of the cover one more time. Thank you so much for watching and for jumping back into this YouTube journey with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye!